And now to the latest on the controversial, unprecedented recount of the 2020 election. Of the more than 2 million ballots they have to recount here, they've only gone through maybe up to around 175,000 of them. While the man hired to oversee the recount gave us that estimate, there are a lot of other questions about the audit he can't explain. Here's political editor Dennis Welch. And Ken Bennett was hired by the Republican controlled Senate to oversee the entire auditing process that's going on behind me right now. And to date, he says he doesn't know who's funding the entire audit. He won't divulge who the volunteers are that's working on this project. And as far as the number of ballots that are counted every day, he says he doesn't know because the company that's conducting the audit itself won't tell him. They don't release the number to me every day and in fact, they haven't released a number to me yet. Ken Bennett said he bases the estimates off the number of ballot boxes that have been counted and sealed off. And as a public figure overseeing the protection of those ballots, he seemed okay with being kept in the dark. They're going to count the 2,089,563 ballots, whether it takes a few weeks or four weeks or five weeks. Bennett also didn't know who else is funding the process beyond the $150,000 the GOP-led Senate has already spent. And he refused to say who's operating the audit's official Twitter account that drew a lot of attention over the past week for lashing out at politicians as well as reporters. They're volunteers, and I'm not going to disclose their identities. Bennett said he started the Twitter account and says two or three other people now have access. He needs to step up to the plate and tell us what is going on. First Amendment attorney Dan Barr, who sued for more access to this audit, said Bennett owes the public more information and that ultimately it's the Republican controlled Senate who hired Bennett that needs to be held accountable for the lack of transparency. Ken Bennett does not provide any proof whatsoever that he is uh, an active overseer of, of this process. The people have the right to know what its government is doing so they can evaluate the actions of its government and make decisions at the voting booths. And regarding that Twitter account, Bennett tells me he wasn't happy to see what was posted on the social media account, and he's working hard right now to resolve that issue. In Phoenix, Dennis Welch, Arizona's Family.